all together for Zulferoka. One morning, everything went wrong in Zulferoka. In this forest, where thousands of magical beings live, everything sparkles and shines and is full of life. But not this morning, because that terrible troll Portugal has returned. No one had spoken of Portugal since long ago, when the trolls ruled over Zulferoka. During this time, he was the scariest troll of all, and he would break everyone and everything. No one was allowed to do anything, and he hated everything. One day a war broke out. Everyone, fairies, gnomes, animals, dwarves, yes, everyone attacked the palace of the trolls and fought to take their country back. It was a long war and everyone lost many friends. Finally, the trolls were defeated and they left without a trace. And since this time, everything has sparkled and shone and was full of light. Today, however, was a dark day. There were no toadstools, no moss, hardly any trees were left standing. But amongst all the creatures of the forest was one gnome who wasn't afraid of anything. Kyrielo. Oh, was he a funny one. He never complained, he was always making everyone laugh, and above all, he was by far the bravest of all. He was the one who had personally defeated the king of the trolls. This will not stand, he declared. And he assembled everyone, from dwarves to gnomes, from fairies to animals, to even the glowworms. Together they discussed a plan to catch Portugal. And all together they set off to the Valley of the Trolls. The Song of Sirioli It was a long way. Kyrielo ran ahead with the fairy Sirioli and everyone merrily followed along. But suddenly it all went dark. It got very cold and the wind blew up. Everyone stopped. The children started to get scared, very scared. Kyrielo tried to make them laugh, but this time it didn't work. Everyone was wondering what to do, and everyone was scared of Portugal. Only Sirioli was able to bring a sense of calm and peace with the soft sound of a voice. Listen to this lovely tune.
party in Zulfaroka. There he is! Quick, children, hide in the bushes! Everyone stands in position, ready to attack. There, right in front of them, sits Portugal. But strangely enough, he looks nothing like the Portugal they remembered. He is sitting on a stone, a long way away from the Valley of the Trolls. And he is crying! Kyrielo bravely approaches him. And Portugal explains to him that the previous night the trolls wanted to completely destroy Zurfaroka. Portugal was very afraid for a new war and had stopped them before they went too far. Then the trolls had banished him from their valley because of his treason. He had no idea where he would go and he was completely alone. Lower your weapons, commanded Kirielo. He's not dangerous. He's changed. He's the one who saved us. Kirielo invited Portugal to come and live in Surferoka from now on and to protect them from the trolls. The troll accepted their offer and together they returned to Surferoka to celebrate their new friendship. The wine flowed freely the children shouted and played, everyone laughed, even Portugal, who had never experienced so much merriment. Mm -hmm.